Is the law catching up with the boom in the climate change debate, or is the climate change discussion catching up with international law? Which is it? Uh, pol well, neither. Policy is nowhere close to the level of rhetoric and the ambition. That was a theme last year, and it's even more so a theme this year. The level of concern, ambition that you see BlackRock and Larry Fink's letter, you see what Microsoft right. is doing, all the European banks that are here, the pressure on the publicly traded oil companies. The challenge is you start to pull capital away from that, but global demand is still there because policy is nowhere close to shifting our demand for hydrocarbons. The distinction in my conference today with John Kerry and Claire O'Neill of the United Kingdom is the fractious American political debate. Can we affect productive climate change for all policy with the American political debate as it is? It's very challenging at the national level. You do see states like California and New York are leading the way, but at the national level, it's almost impossible to have a serious conversation about climate change. But I should note that this is not just about climate change in the US and President Trump and his unwillingness to spend time on this. Yeah. Almost no country is on track to meet their Paris goals. Uh, one more question, and the shortness of this, we have to have a much longer conversation with you in New York or London. Why does London have a gorgeous electric taxi cab and I'm in a beat up Toyota Camry in New York City? Why is that? Well, you need policy to drive people toward shift toward uh, lower carbon uh, pieces of the fleet. And that's, uh, that's been difficult. You have this Trump administration that's rolled back fuel economy standards in the U.S. Mayor, Mayor, when he was mayor, Mayor Bloomberg tried to get New York City to shift toward hybrids. And that actually was overturned by the courts because federal government controls fuel economy standards. Wow. You need policy to drive these things, although it's starting yeah. to change because the economics is changing. Jason, it's been way too short. I love that perspective, and we'll no. have Mr. Uh, On Ford the black cabs, you know it's actually a Chinese company that makes the black cabs in yeah, London. Yeah, I know, I, but they're gorgeous. You <laughs> want to get in the car, it's, and yeah. it goes like a Bentley down the road. The Bentley I take to work every morning, it's just like it's that. Just, yeah, we'll, we'll change it for a black cab for Tom to get into work in New York.